all right what's up youtube what's going on guys we finally got my old regulator out this is my fat boy regulator uh i think what happened is we had a wire come loose but either way it'll be extra but i'm gonna show you guys how to install this blue box regulator this is a mechman regulator you can get it on the website or you can just type in blue box external regulator and it should pop up so basically what it entails is is obviously blue and you can kind of see down here at the bottom what goes where so for this regulator you can only put up to two alternators per and so what you're going to do is basically follow the steps it says so positive which is my blue wire right here you can take a flat head and you're going to basically unscrew right here and i got a spade terminal right there clamp it down in the middle is your negative wire and that is going to go right there in the middle and clamp it down and a lot of people don't know what the field wires are but this is your positive field wire i'll show you where they go in a minute but you can put like i said up to two on each little stud so yeah i have two 370s and those are the field wires and that's really pretty simple and what i have right here is you have a little dial so this is basically going to turn your charging up or down and I want to say all the way to the right side is basically off. So you want to turn it counterclockwise in order to turn the regulator up. Okay. So what I have it wired to is I'll show you guys right over here is I have it hooked to a relay. So I know it looks a little confusing, but that's the wire that's going. That's the positive right here. I have my constant right on the other side i have that signal wire basically turning everything on and i have a ground wire right up here i know it looks a little confusing but the field wires a lot of people are confused at what these are as you can see my green and white wire coming right over here and here's where my field wire is so as you can see these are gm alts and my field wire is connected right here on the plug see i have two plugs right here it is that black plug right here and the same for this other one as you can see right here sorry my hands in the way it's that plug and that's my white wire and that is my green wire i know on the diagram it says you need a negative field wire but all you need is the positive so the positive field positive field and that is what's going to turn your alternators on and uh, let the regulator charge everything right now i'm setting about 15 5 15 6 i'm gonna turn it up to about 16 volts and it's really simple guys just like that make sure you have a relay or you can just have it on all the time but i just have it on a relay so it turns on when the car turns on and again here's that red wire that's that constant wire it's going to my remote wire up there in all this uh, cluster up here I'm redoing everything, messing with the radio, so don't look at that. It doesn't look very great. But yeah, guys, this is a little turn dial. This is about 150 bucks, so it's not super expensive, and it is fairly simple. I want to say this one right here was about 150, but it is an older uh, regulator. I'm gonna keep it as a spare. All you really need with this one is a voltmeter, something to read your voltage. That way you can kind of tell where you're charging at and where your batteries are sitting at, guys. So yeah simple as that literally two wire two wires positive negative and you can either have one or two field wires depending on how many alternators you have and you really want it to be within about six feet of your alts which is pretty close to six feet and i am going to actually mount it right back here where the fat boy was uh, and it has some little screw holes just like that in order to uh, mount it wherever you want so real quick uh, all you got to do is just turn it on with relay and you should be good to go but uh that's it guys this really simple only a few wires and that little dial and it turns everything on so yeah guys I, overall i used to run this in my last build in my last jeep it did fine had no issues out of it uh so yeah i would definitely recommend it. 150 bucks if you have externally regulated alts this of course will not work if you have internally regulated alts guys so let me know what you guys use in the comments. To me, this is probably not quite as good as the Brand X, but it is a lot cheaper and affordable. So, yes, sir, guys. Appreciate you guys for watching.